heart syndrome. We talk about what it is and how you can prevent it coming up. Live from central Pennsylvania, this is CBS 21 News at 11. are a time of joy, but they can also lead to excessive drinking and eating. Doctors say that can cause holiday heart syndrome. So what is it and how can you lower your risk? CBS 21's Hallie Jacob joins us. So what did you learn? So Jess, I learned and I spoke with a doctor who says they've seen an increase in heart attacks and heart failure around the holidays, which is something they're calling holiday heart syndrome. But they say there are steps you can take to lower your risks. Okay. While the holidays are a time for fun and family and can often be merry, doctors say they can quickly turn into a scary situation with the holiday season interrupting our daily routine. So how can you lower your risk of developing holiday heart syndrome? Making sure that you're staying compliant with your medications, don't skip, skip your doses, uh, staying healthy with your food choices, avoiding food that are high in sodium, so salty foods. Alcohol is also considered a major risk factor for cardiovascular cardiovascular disease. During the holiday season, people tend to indulge in higher amounts of alcohol consumption and alcohol actually weakens the heart muscle and it can cause people to go into heart failure. And don't count out holiday stress. People feel overwhelmed with lots of things to do, lots of things to plan, lots of emotions, lots of people, even overwhelmed with finances. So if you're feeling overwhelmed around the holidays, slow it down. Slow everything down. If you're already feeling that as, as you're hearing this, just take a few deep breaths, then go ahead and write everything down so you can see it so it's not so overwhelming. Doctors say in some cases, it can be hard to tell the difference between a heart attack and heartburn, especially after eating a big meal. But some signs to watch out for are a heavy sensation in your chest, difficulty breathing, and profusely sweating. If you think you have heartburn and it's not going away, then it might be time to ask your doctor. Reporting for CBS 21 News, I'm Hallie Jacobs.